This is a certified hood classic. What's going on, Scope Fam? Castle Scope back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the Galaxy Glow effect in Adobe Photoshop. Disclaimer, I'm not the first person who saw this effect or anything like that. I saw it from a Benny Productions video, but you guys know I like to give you insights and just tips and tricks about how to go about. So yeah, disclaimer is not from me, but I'm explaining how to do this more in depth so that you guys can start spicing up your graphics and just adding another tool to your tool bag. And right, what's playing right now is a speed art of the prior things I did to doing the glow effect. So just skip ahead to, I'll put the time mark. I think it's 135, but skip ahead to that if you don't want to see the rest of this. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so now we've gotten to the part of the tutorial for the video. So first thing you guys want to do is make sure that you have a composition. It doesn't have to be like this or anything. You could even do it on a black background. It's really up to you. But yeah, just make sure you have a composition and some subjects ready to go. First thing that we will be doing is going to the ellipse tool right here. If you don't have the ellipse tool showing up, then you have to hold down on pretty much the shapes part of the toolbar and drag down to ellipse when you're holding and clicking down. Now you're gonna look up here and see shapes. You're gonna wanna have, you're gonna wanna have the circle. You're gonna have shape on, fill. You're gonna choose a color. So just choose any color you want. I'm gonna choose this neon green for me. Stroke is gonna be none, no stroke needed. And yeah, now you're set to make your shapes. Also make sure this is just linear, not broken up. All right, so for the first shape, what you're gonna do is just hold down, so click and, and drag out a shape. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a cylinder shape. So just make sure you're doing that, drag it out. And when you when you feel good about the shape, you're just gonna release. Like there's no rhyme or reason or exact shape that you have to make. Not at all. So once you've made your first shape, we're gonna hit Control J, and this is gonna make a duplicate of our shape. So what you're gonna do on this duplicate. You're gonna hit Control T to get to your free transform tool. And we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna make sure that we have an outside stroke for our shape. So now you see that, center it in the middle, holding down shift when I'm resizing. Once I'm good with this shape, now we're gonna go and hover over it and we're gonna control, hold down control and click on the thumbnail. And then we're going to go to our OG shape and we're gonna hit the layer mask icon. Now we can hide or delete this top shape. So I'm just gonna delete it. And now it's like, okay, we don't have the ring yet. That's that's fine. All we have to do is go to our layer mask of the shape, and hit control I to invert it. Now, once you've done that and you like the shape, what we're gonna do is convert to a smart object. So right click on your ellipse and convert to a smart object. Something that I advise is making keyboard shortcuts for smart objects like mine is f5 so look into making keyboard shortcuts but that's just a side note now when we have our shape we're going to transform it to jamal murray first so what we're going to do is hold down Control t to enter our transform tool and here is where you're it's really up to you and what you want to do but one thing one tip i'll give you is if you right click and hit distort this can make really interesting shape so right click hit distort and just play around with the points on the distortion this can make really cool shapes but i'm just going to go ahead and freestyle just like you guys are going to to make your own uh unique shape that you really like around your subject another quick note the great thing about a smart object is you can go in and just you can go into a smart object when you double click on the thumbnail and you can adjust it to your liking so if you wanted to go in and say you wanted to feather it first or anything like that 
it's really important to utilize smart objects and they're going to help you out so once you have the shape where you want it to be we're going to create a layer mask so to create a layer mask just go to the layer mask icon right here click that and now with the layer mask if we paint black it's going to hide if we paint white it's going to reveal see how see how that works paint white it's going to reveal i don't think yeah that was not white so paint white is going to reveal the original subject or the original shape so what you're going to do here is lower your opacity up here and we're going to make a interesting overlap for jamal murray and the shape in general because we want our shape to uh just be interesting and cool so this paint black white white is going to bring it back so don't worry if you're erasing because you're technically not because you have a layer mask just remember that black hides white reviews so let's make an interesting shape I'm liking this right here. Also, what I want to do on the outside is not make it so sturdy. So I'm going to feather out some of it on the outside. Make sure that your flow or your hardness or your brush is down and you don't, yeah, you don't want your hardness to be like at a hundred. So make sure your hardness is down so that you can soft erase things. So once you have done that, that's cool for the shape and we're gonna come we're gonna duplicate the shape or you could do the same process but in this case i think i'm just gonna duplicate the shape and then just bring it down to a different area and kind of repeat the same steps for the masking just making it softer and the, the overlaps you want it to overlap differently probably here so instead of having it in the front i'll probably loop it in the back instead so you just want to kind of switch it up so it's not the same and it just is um different all right now once you have done that we're gonna bring in our galaxy effect so all you gotta do is go to file place all these are gonna be linked or this file is gonna be linked so do not worry so this galaxy file has like a little shutterstock thing so i'm just gonna use my rectangle marquee tool make this rectangle here hit the layer mask icon down here boom then we're gonna invert it and then I'm gonna right click on it and create it and convert it to a smart object, okay? So now you have the image there. All we're gonna do is go to the blending mode, change this blending mode to screen. Now, boom, you have it on screen and you can still see a little bit of the outside edges. So what we're gonna do is go and we're gonna hit control L on it. So hit control L, this is gonna bring up levels and we're gonna just play around with the levels like that. So just drag this slider to the right a little bit in the middle. Um, another thing that you are gonna wanna do is just set this to like the base galaxy effect. And then maybe even color code it like red, like we're not gonna touch this one, so don't even touch it. And then we're just gonna hit control J like mm, four times. So one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna put we're gonna put them in their own group, and this group is gonna be called Jamal X Jokic Glow um, or Galaxy. It doesn't really matter. All right, so now what we're gonna do with this right here is we're gonna create a human saturation layer. So go to this semicircle right here. We're gonna get human saturation, and then to clip it to our base galaxy, hold down Alt right underneath. The title and clip that to it so now once you have that we're gonna hit colorize right here boom that's gonna make it a color but we're gonna choose our green so something like right there is good like that and then yeah you're gonna keep your lightness at zero because if not it's gonna bring back those white outlines so boom then we're gonna just reshape it I like to do I like to reshape it to like the opposite of the direction that I had the other effect so something like that maybe even a little more angled but i like to just play around with the shape we're gonna hit the layer mask icon on that shape and we're gonna do the same thing make it overlap make it look uh more 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 you know shape 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 based or whatever you want to call it i don't know so something cooler really then we're gonna just go down we're gonna use our second layer um, all you got to do to bring the same hue and saturation over is hold alt and then you're going to click on the layer and drag it down and this is going to make a duplicate 
and then we gotta find okay yeah it's gonna be right here so and then you're gonna clip that to there like that okay yep and then we're going to move this as well so we're gonna move this one to right here like that then we're gonna make our layer mask and erase it out All right, so at this point, I like to get more organized so I don't get too confused. So what I'm gonna do is just take these and bring them out of this group. And to make groups, just hold Control G. Just Control G makes a group. So I'm gonna press Control G, and this is gonna be Galaxy Murray. This is gonna be Jokic's Galaxy. So just Jokic Galaxy and I'm showing you guys this because it's just really important to get more organized and then we're going to hold down control to control select these and then control g and these are going to be murray's rings okay so just get more organized in your workflow and you'll thank me later all right now the last thing that you need to do is hold down your solid fill color so we're going to pick a solid color boom we're going to hide it real quick and then we're going to click on a similar color to this to these rings and we're going to drag it down because we're going to set this to linear dodge add okay then we're going on a layer mask right here we're going to go on a layer mask hit control i and now what we're going to do is just use our white brush bring your flow down and we're going to make these glow like magic man so just use your white brush make it glow if it's too much press X to switch to your other color and hide some of it but just make it glow and this is gonna start um, giving us that effect that we're going for granted it could be too much so you know just play around with your flow and your brush and you'll be straight just you gotta develop it that so that's our initial that's good for our initial glow now our second glow is just going to be our overall like glow that i like to do or actually you can just duplicate this so press ctrl j but we're going to delete the layer mask set this to screen this time then we're going to make a layer mask invert it ctrl i now paint some green just like just like green haze I don't like to go too much on the face, but just some green haze like that. All right, so now he's glowing. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll bring up his exposure in some areas. So you're gonna have to go to your actual mask of Jamal Murray. And we're gonna put an exposure layer on. So hit the exposure, clip it. So Alt to make that clipping mask right under the title bring up his exposure and now just pick your points where your your light is the most intense from the from the uh the glow and then you're just going to yeah paint some glow on onto his body any point you want to just go back and adjust things like be free and be sure to do that like don't be scared to uh make mistakes number one but number two don't be afraid to go back and just adjust some things if you think they could be a lot better all right so another thing that you're going to want to do is just add some green on him so what you're going to do for that is just add a hue and saturation layer clip to him and you're just going to go to like a green and then from this green, we're going to invert that mask and just paint some green areas on Jamal Murray. And this just brings the graphic together and makes it look like that man really glowing because he really is. Okay, then one other thing is adding a color balance right on him. So invert the color balance once you 
Once you pick a color balance over here, so you can just drag these sliders and you want it to be like of a green hue, right? So once you have that, invert it and we're just gonna paint a like color balance around him just to give that um, presentation of an aura even more flare. Now, if you have a ground like me, you also wanna you want you also wanna have it on the ground so that it's more like it looks more realistic. Um, so, what you're gonna do if you have a ground layer like me, you're just gonna add exposure to it. Okay, clip it to it. Boom. Bring your exposure up. Then you're going to right click on this plus minus here. Right click that. Go to blending options. And we're gonna play around on underlying layer. And what you, what I like to do here is separate these two triangles. Um, this is the shadows. So this goes from shadows to highlights. And what you wanna do is just have an even balance of your shadow. So you're gonna hold down all, and this is gonna separate that, that shadow um, gradient. And you're just gonna slide it over a little bit, just like that. And then let's invert it. Go to our brush and bring this down right so our brush you want to bring the distortion down like here and then we're going to reveal some areas on the ground hitting from these lights illuminating the ground just like that and play around with this play around with these lights it's not going to be exact every time like it's going to differ every time that's why tutorials are just you know, sometimes you gotta take the liberty to just figure it out. And then we're going to use the same hue and saturation from Jamal Murray. So let's go to Jamal Murray's galaxy. Let's copy this, go back to the ground layer and control V. Now when we have that hue, we're gonna use our exposure layer and then we're gonna use the mask from the exposure layer. So hold down Alt and drag it to the hue and saturation and then clip this as well just like that i think this can be desaturated though so we'll bring down the saturation and there you go and yeah so one other thing i'll show you guys is sometimes you don't want to have the hue and saturation be everywhere because like when you think about light the brightest part it's not going to have that much color to it so bring down the flow and just you can just get rid of some of the you like that's going to be immediately in front of him just to make it look a little bit more realistic okay so something like that and then we're going to go to jamal murray and i'm going to bring his exposure up on his feet because of the glow now so that let's bring his, some of his exposure up okay so that's what you're gonna do and basically you can just repeat the same steps for Nikola Jokic I'm gonna speed through that because this tutorial is already on the longer side so let's go and do that Thank you guys for tuning in to this video and if this was helpful make sure you guys drop a like down below i've also noticed that a lot of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed yet so make sure you hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever i go live or get up a new video with that being said stay scoped and i'm out to the next video peace